friends, this is Miss C, and I am excited to work with you today. We will be doing a word school activity in our lesson. Materials. You will need a paper and pencil for our lesson today. We have two learning targets. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target is, I can use my knowledge of syllable division to help me decode two syllable words. Our second learning target is, I can read words with the vowel teams EI and EU and read and spell words with the endings GE and DGE. Transition song. Can you take a closer look, a closer look, a closer look? Can you take a closer look at these words today? Word work. This sentence has some special words that we are going to look at closely. Listen carefully as I read. Keith and Sheila are sleuths and love weird books by Dr. Seuss. What sound do you hear in the words Keith, Sheila, and weird? They all have the E sound. What letters do they have in common? Each word has the letters E, I. E, I is a vowel team and it will always make the sound E. Let me read the sentence one more time. Keith and Sheila are sleuths and love weird books by Dr. Seuss. What sound did you hear in the word sleuths and Seuss? We heard the oo sound. What letters does each word have in common? Each word has the letters e, u, which makes the sound oo. E, u is also a vowel team. Let's look at a few more words with the spelling patterns e, u, and e, i. How would you pronounce this word? Neutral. When we look at our first syllable in neutral, n, u, we have the u sound and it is spelled with an e, u. Go ahead and write down the word neutral. Let's try another word. How would we say this word? Ceiling. Let's look at our first syllable in ceiling. E -o. We heard the E sound again, but it is spelled with an E I. Go ahead and write down the word ceiling. Here's the next word. How would we pronounce this word. Protein. All right, let's look at the second syllable in protein. T -e -n. We hear the E sound again, and it is spelled with the letters E I. Go ahead and write down the word protein. Here's our last word. How would you pronounce this word? Sleuth. Sleuth only has one syllable, but we heard the oo sound and it is spelled with an E-U. Go ahead and write the word sleuth on your paper. I want everyone to give themselves a celebration for all your hard work. 
Let's read a bit more to try to find two new spelling patterns. This time, we are looking for ways to spell the j sounds. Listen carefully as I read. The page was on the edge of the large bridge by a hedge near the lodge. Down it went with a plunge. Was it a surge of wind? No. A strange cat with a huge badge gave it a nudge. All right, let's look closely at a few words. Page, large, plunge, surge, strange, and huge. What did all of these words have in common? They each made the j sound. What letters made the j sound in each of these words? G E. Let's read the sentence one more time. The page was on the edge of the large bridge by a hedge near the lodge. Down it went with a plunge. Was it a surge of wind? No. A strange cat with a huge badge gave it a nudge. Let's look closely at a few more words. Edge, bridge, hedge, lodge, badge, and nudge. All of these words made the j sound at the end. What letters do they have in common? D, G, E. Let's see if we can figure out when to use G, E or D, G, E for the j sound at the end of a word. We have the word fudge. Which j spelling did you see for the word fudge? We have D-G-E at the end. Did you hear a short or long vowel before the j sound? We have a short U, a. Uh, maybe that's a rule that we could use to determine if we use D-G-E or G-E. Let's see. Our next word is cage. Which spelling did you hear for the sound j? We have a g e. Do you hear a short vowel or a long vowel before the sound j? We have a long a, a. As you can see, we use g e if we have a long vowel, and then we would use d g e if we have a short vowel before the j sound. Let's see if the rule still works. We have the word huge. What spelling do you see for the j sound? We have a g e. Before the j sound, did we have a short or long vowel? We have a long u. All right, let's try our last word. We have the word wedge. What spelling did you see for the j sound at the end? D, G, E. Do we have a short or long vowel before the j sound? We have a short vowel. Our rule works. As you can see, if we have a short vowel, we will put D, G, E. And if we have a long vowel before the j sound, we will place G, E at the end. Closing reflection. Which E or O sounds were not too tricky? Which were a bit tricky? You did a great job reading words with EI or EU and GE or DGE. Keep up the great work and I can't wait to see you next time.